Okay. Let's do um, Heart of a Dog, which is a sort of uh, poetical documentary by Laurie Anderson, refractive musings upon uh, life and death, as sort of expressed via her relationship with her beloved dog, Lola Bell, animation Super 8 footage sort of melded together in this very textural and uh, actually I think rather profound in a in a... You know, you know, sometimes when somebody makes something which which seems sort of light and whimsical, and yet actually it's through that light whimsical that in fact it achieves a level of profundity. That's what I think is happening here. It's it is it is a film about matters of life and death. We were just talking about Prowl and Pressburg. I'm sorry, that's why that phrase is now sticking in my head. Narrated uh, by Laurie Anderson in this way, which well, listen, he, he, listen, listen to a little bit of it because in a way this this clip kind of pretty much sums the film up. Now, occasionally, out of the corner of my eye. I'd see some hawks circling in this very lazy way, way up in the sky. And then one morning, suddenly, for no reason, they came swooping down right in front of me, dropping down through the air, their claws wide open right on top of Lola Bell. And then they swooped back up and dropped back down, and I realized that they were in the middle of changing their plan. This little white thing that had looked like a tiny white bunny from 2,000 feet up was turning out to be just a little too big to grab by the neck. And they were making their calculations, figuring it out. And then I saw Lola Bell's face, and she had this brand new expression. First was the realization that she was prey, and that these birds had come to kill her. So you get that sort of... You could hear from that the, that sort of musing tone of something which seems to be sort of you know light and inconsequential actually turning into something which is and what happens then during the course of it as I said we're talking about death talking about love and the nature of love and death being about the release of love and you know Kierkegaard and Wittgenstein and nine eleven and all these things but all thrown into the mix in a way which doesn't in any way seem pretentious but it's actually sort of dreamy and engaging and there are some I mean there are some things in it which are like you know footage of the dog playing uh, a keyboard uh, you know, an electronic keyboard, which is almost like so just sort of YouTube squealy delight stuff, you know, which is absolutely lovely. And then moving from that into stuff which is altogether more profound. I thought it was it was really rather enchanting and has oddly stayed with me since I saw it. Very, very uh, sort of uh, brief running time, I think 76 minutes, which is automatically a four-star running time. And a documentary that does, you know, a sort of poetic documentary that does genuinely manage to be about, what was the phrase from uh, you know, Life, the Universe and Everything, but primarily seen through the eyes of a relationship with a dog. And incidentally, anybody who is a pet owner will understand exactly why that that particular relationship becomes... Have you ever had a dog? Yes. They're just great, aren't they? They are. 